Hey everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. So today, um, I apologize for yesterday because I was really tired. I'd just come off a of mid-shift, slept for a few hours, came out to the garage to work, so kind of was just about four hours of sleep, so I really wasn't, I didn't have my mind in it yesterday, but today uh, I got some good sleep last night. So we are gonna do the shuffle in the garage. Uh, I'm gonna put the rabbit out near the front and put the Datsun in the back because I want to be able to get the Datsun or the rabbit in and out so that I can do the grinding and stuff on the inside, clean it out. Um, I already had to move one of my parts cars out of the way to start this whole process. So in the middle of this, I'm going to roll the Datsun outside and then we're going to do the flex test on the rabbit. I'm just going to roll it up in here and we'll just do it inside because it's super hot outside. And it's nice to do stuff like that in the shade right now. So, uh, so I'm going to get started and uh, start shuffling cars around. That looks like a good place as any to do it. So next thing I'm going to do is set stuff up and then we'll get started. All right. So time to get scientific about this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this ruler, this little plastic ruler, I'm going to tape it right to the side of the car with some blue tape. And we're going to measure how far the door gap changes when we jack the car. Like I said, really scientific about but it should give us some idea if we're making the car flex less and as long as I don't move that we should be good so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get a baseline I'm going to jack the car up at at the corner up in the front here so the whole thing will flex. And then we'll be able to see how much it flexes initially. And then we'll go inside uh, and uh, put in the braces and see if it reduces the flex. Okay, so our baseline Starting out at a not show winning seven millimeters of door gap. All right, so what I did, I'll bring you guys over here to show you, and it's really hard to get a measurement with this type of system but what I did is when the car was jacked up I put this piece of blue tape where the door lined up at the bottom of the ruler here and straight on you can see there's maybe a half mil difference there between when it was jacked up and when it's on the ground and I'll bring it back up here See that door gap increasing there a little bit. Now that there's a little better point of reference than just a ruler. So you can see it came right up to where that tape is. So we're looking at when the car's jacked up about a half mil of deflection in the door jam. So I'd say that's, I'd say that's significant. So what I'm going to do is put these braces in. I'm just going to try clamping them in for now. Uh, put a bunch of ice grips on them to hold them in place. 
see if that makes a difference. They are going to get welded in, but uh, it's, uh, I'm just going to try clamping them in to see if, if it helps. So we'll be back in a minute. So, for those of you paying attention and didn't just fast forward through the whole video to the end, yes, I ended up welding them in. I was getting lazy, didn't feel like welding them in, and it wasn't going to work, which is clamping them in. There's, there's no way to get enough clamp force on that. So, I welded them in. They're in, they're part of the car now, they're going to stay there forever until this thing, until somebody, I don't know, wants to cut them out. But I'm not taking them back out. They're welded in. So we've got our got our little uh, ruler in place here. We're gonna set up set up a mark so that we know where the edge of our door is starting out at. And let's jack it up. Well, I'm going to say that that is a success. That we have reduced the flex in the body by installing those. And blue tape doesn't lie. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> but it's exactly, exactly on the door, right at the bottom of the ruler there, where it was before I started jacking it up. So... So we have now have proof that making those reinforcement plates to go in that area where the door uh, underneath the rear windows and welding them into the car really helped stiffen this body. Um, I think there's some other things that we can do to help tighten up this old car and make some more reinforcement plates to go in other places. But we've taken at the door with obviously like jacking it up and putting it all up, you know, all the weight on one or two wheels is an extreme scenario. But there's a lot of forces when you're driving a car. And if you're driving a car hard, you know, it, it does put a lot of stress on a car. Um, and ideally, you know, with newer cars, especially with the higher strength steels and all that stuff, it's th those those forces are designed in with computers back you know this was a clay model car this was something that you know they they whipped out of a clay buck and, and worked on and shaved down and then decided to make it um, and they didn't have high strength steel back then and, and it, that they used on cars so now we've taken this old car and with a little bit of ingenuity we've been able to take some flex out of the body and make it a little bit stiffer, which means the suspension is going to do more work as opposed to the body flexing and creaking. Like when you go into a, like you go into a driveway or something, and you hear the whole body kind of rick, rick, which happens a lot on these cars. Uh, we won't have as much of that. And hopefully with some other things that we're going to do, 
uh, we'll be able to uh, to reduce that even more and we, we won't ever approach the levels of strength of a new car but making this car stronger less flexible and all that translates into making the car last longer and more fun to drive so that is all the time that we have for today on Throttle Grotto. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like what's going on here, uh, please subscribe. We're going to have more videos of the Datsun coming, more videos of the Rabbit, and at the end of July, which is, uh, we're about a month and a half away right now, uh, we are going to have another Rallycross video. Uh, I'll be going to Nationals and uh, trying to make that... Uh, trying to make that a fun day. So uh, thanks for watching and until next time, get out there and work on something.